welcome back to Great Oak Towers. My name is Brian. I hope that you've had a great day so far. Now, this video is definitely a bit on the odd side for our channel. We do occasionally do things like mice and keyboards and things along those lines. We often do cases and computers, laptops, desktops, parts for different ones, all that kind of stuff. However, we do not usually do mouse pads. So I wanted to do a little unboxing of this mouse pad. This is just labeled as LED light mouse pad. That's it. And it's got the little rainbow to the colors and it shows you a keyboard and mouse on the, on the mouse pad, but it's a blank pad. And then it's got some of the details and everything, but let's go ahead and open it up and take a look and see what we got. All right. All right. So we're going to pop it. It's taped with like regular ma uh, not masking tape, but uh, regular scotch tape. So nothing extreme, nothing extravagant, nothing that can't be removed and put back. So I'm not considering it as sealed, but it's at least something. We're getting crisp crunches on that. So that's cool. Now this is supposed to be a large mouse pad that's supposed to cover the entire area that the keyboard and mouse go on so that it covers the entire desktop that you're going to use. But let's take a look and see what we have here. So we do have a micro USB, it is not USB-C cable, it is braided which is nice, it feels comfortable and it does feel good in the hands. And then we've got the mouse pad. Now this is an RGB mouse pad, so it does have lights, but let's take a look and see what it is, all right? <laughs> what do you think? Do you like it? I fell in love with it when I saw the wolf. So the thing with this, I got it because of the wolf, and it does have the little plug here for the USB for the power and everything, so you can do that. It does not have addressable RGB as far as I'm aware. And unfortunately, it looks like the one thing that looked the coolest about it was false advertisement. So the end of it, the edges of it, whatever you want to call it, will light up and do the different displays. I think they said like seven different modes. So a couple of different solids, a couple of different like flowing through the different colors, that kind of stuff. It does have the wolf, which I love. It looks amazing. And even on this one, the way it is, Although I'm disappointed that it's not what I saw on the ad, it's still nice and I like it and I'm going to use it as my main mouse pad. However, on the on the actual uh, on the actual post in Amazon where I bought it, it had it lit up as if the wolf was LED slash RGB, and so I was hoping that that was the case, but I also realized that it probably wasn't because the material is not usually conductive in a way that would allow you to effectively do that without having it hard and that kind of is different from what I expected. So I, I expected it to be kind of like it is. So we will take another shot of this and so that you can see the print itself. Now this is supposed to be capable of doing 30,000 hours of LED slash RGB. And it, it, like I said, it's seven, seven colors that cycle through so you can do the different things. I'm hoping for a rainbow pattern to match the wolf. I'm gonna take a quick peek real quick and see here. I do not see a size. I. I'm pretty confident this is something like 800 millimeters by 300 millimeters, but I don't recall. I'll try and post here the actual size when I do the editing so that you can know the actual size and that way you'll know if it fits your area or not because I'd hate for you to buy it if it doesn't fit. So that aside, I do also plan on inserting a picture probably right about now. And so that picture, if it was inserted, should be what this looks like on the desk with the lights of it on. It will not be a dark room to help with the lighting and everything of the camera, but 
I don't know how good of quality it is if I was able to get it or not. But that all aside, I do hope this video helps you to decide if this is the right mouse pad for you. If it did, make sure you hit the like button down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button that should be in this general area over here, and that way you can keep up to date on our new videos and our community section. And as always, if you have any questions about myself, the products, or the channel, make sure you leave those in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. You have a wonderful day. Bye for now.